Hi everyone, it's Andrea here again and today I'm going to give you a quick review over of the Diana Dawes book Connecting Dawes, The Legacy of Diana Dawes by Nima Ash um, with Jason Dawes-Lake who was Diana's son. Now, I've actually been looking at some of the reviews for this book um, a lot of people say that it glosses over her life. Yes, it does. It's a short biography. It's not in-depth at all. But it does give you a brief outline of her book. It reads a bit like a fan magazine. It is quite one-sided, but it's very pro-doors. A lot of the biographies you read will be very anti. They will really give you lots of information, but they will focus more on the scandals and the bad stuff. This one doesn't. And we learn all about her life with Dickie Hamilton, who was... Oh. Dennis Hamilton, sorry not Dickie, it's Dickie Dawson. Dennis Hamilton who was a nightmare, uh, Dickie Dawson who was jealous of her fame and when she finally found true love with Anne Lake. It's a beautiful story, it's also a very tragic story. I actually quite like the way it was written. Um, I would like to see a, a far more in-depth biography of Diana, I'm not going to lie. And I don't actually think that the um, definitive biography has been written on her yet. The second half of the book is more about Jason and uh, how he coped with the death of his parents. There are some lovely photographs in, of Diana in the book, as you can see. And how he coped or didn't cope with his mother's death and his father's suicide a few months after she died. It's his father. There are also some lovely photographs of Jason and his daughter Ruby and one of him at his parents' graves there. I felt it was a very tragic story and I, my heart really went out to Jason. I just wanted to give him a really big hug. I really like this biography. If you like Diana Dawes, you've got to read it. Um, like I said, there's some lovely photographs in it of her, of her son and his children. And it is just a beautiful story. There's also some pictures of Diana at the Orchard Manor pool. There she is there, and, and there's the pool. Um, so yes, I gave this four out of five on, on Goodreads. I really enjoyed it. And, and on a side note, just because I think it's important that we remember Diana as being a great British film star, which she was. Not only was she a film star, but she was a really warm, friendly, generous human being. Now, my dad was lucky enough to meet Diana Dawes back in the 50s when she was touring in Cabaret um, in Western Supermare. And she came, he was in a pub with his uh, best friend, Fred, and she and Dennis Hamilton came into the pub. And he remembers her as being very warm and very friendly and up for a laugh and having a beer and a joke. She was really like the girl next door, one of the crowd, wanted a good time. Dennis he didn't like, but that's understandable. Who did? So it's important that we remember that she was a very glamorous star at a time where Britain needed glamour. We're thrown into post-war austerity and Diana Dawes gave us just that little bit of glamour, that little bit of luxury that, well, we needed at that time. And even up to the, the day she died, she was a warm, glamorous, beautiful woman. I love her. I think she's fabulous. So yes, I would advise that you read this. Like I said, I'm going to give it four out of five. Um, I really enjoyed it. Do pick it up. You can get them quite cheap on on on, on the eBay and Amazon aid books. So yeah, it, it is worth picking up for a few few squids. Why not? So that's what I've got to say about on this. If you like this video, please give me the thumbs up, um, share, a comment, and of course subscribe. And I will see you soon. Bye now.